So this is a very quick compilation video of all the different types of alloys that people typically put on their ST205 Celica GT4s. That's my car, and I'm doing this because uh, it just helps me organize my thoughts so I can decide what I'm going to go for next. Um, we're going to do this in terms of number of spokes, starting with five spokes. I don't actually know what a lot of these alloys um, are called, uh, but I've just organized them as best I can. So what am I looking for? Well, essentially, I've got 18s on at the moment. Um, they are revolution alloys. I think they're a copy of a of a rally style, which will come up in a second. And I absolutely love the way that they look. But what I what I kind of regret is I haven't been able to experience what a an OEM wheel feels like. I mean, the cars typically were designed for a 16 inch. Um, I call them throwing star alloys. I don't know what they're actually called, but the uh, the ones that they were originally sold with. I don't know what that feels like. Right, the the geometry um, is obviously been set up by Toyota with what I assume is a you know, multi-million dollar budget. So they obviously know what they're doing and I'd love to experience what the uh, designers intended the car to feel like. The problem though is that they're in, they come in 16 inch wheels, which um, makes it very hard to find the correct tires. And I don't love the way that they look. So I'm here and I'm looking at different alternatives. And I have three objectives. So the first one is I want the ride to feel more supple and more comfortable. Um, we have crappy roads here in the UK, so and this is a rally car, right? I don't want to be on low profile tires. I'm currently on low profile tires. Tires, and I've made the uh, made some suspension changes. I've gone back to OEM suspension. That's improved things, but I would like that thicker um, sidewall, and also the wheels are a bit, well, quite a bit lighter than what I've got. 16 inch compared to 18 inch will give me quite a weight saving, which reduces unsprung mass and will make the car hopefully flow a bit better down the road. The second thing is um, the way they look. Um, so like I said, I don't love the way they, they look, but there is a very period correct vibe and feel about those OEM wheels, which I do like. And then the third thing is handling. So I think the geometry is slightly off. When I say geometry, I think the, the offset is slightly different on the wheels that I have right now. They're um, much wider. I don't know off the top of my head how wide those wheels are, but when you have wider wheels, it does make the steering slightly heavier. My steering, I mean, the Celica has heavy steering anyway, but mine is even heavier. Um, and I, th I think it feels very direct, but when you have a heavy steer steering, sometimes that um, it means that you don't get as much feel through the steering wheel or some, uh, it's kind of numbed. That heavy weight is numbs kind of the sensation, sensation and feedback that you get through the steering wheel. That's, that's my theory anyway. So I think if I have slightly lighter, smaller wheels, uh, narrower tires, I think I'm gonna get a bit more steering feel uh, coming through. And as I'm looking through these, I mean, a lot of these wheels look great. It's a great thing about the Celica is it seems to accept a lot of different wheel styles. Like here, for example, this, I don't know what we're gonna call these, but um, this is similar to like BMW M parallel uh, wheels. That's what I would call them anyway. And, and that's like a Porsche style, um, like a OZ um, Allegorita style wheel. Um, but, you know, I have to say, the ones that I keep coming back to over and over are like the five-spoke rally wheels, the, the ones that kind of look like a starfish a little bit earlier on, and then these bad boys. All right, this is, this is the OEM throwing star wheel, and I really think the design is fantastic. Toyota knocked the ball out of the park with this. I think it's a really distinctive design. You don't really see this design on any other cars. Probably the Saab, like an early Saab, had something similar, um, but I think it's amazing. The only thing that I would say with this is I wish they were in 17s. I wish they had a little bit of a lip on them, and I wish they were sided. 
uh, meaning the star should spin in the direction of travel like they used to on um, like one example I have is on the BMW E34 M5 they had sided throwing star alloys these last ones are just um, some randoms that I found that don't fit there in any of the other buckets so yeah hope you enjoyed the video I got some thinking to do before I figure out what I'm going to put on my car